know, it's home for me. Uh, excitement, I don't know if that's the word. I'm thrilled, I guess. I'm thrilled to be back home, uh, to be able to be a coach in front of um, a support group that you don't get in the volleyball world anywhere else. Um, it's special to be here in Hawaii as a player, and I chose to go away, and so to be here as a coach, I'm really going to get that experience of being a coach for the Wahine and getting the support of the whole state. It's been cool. I mean, we had some meetings before he left, and I'm at another stage in my life where I'm now an adult, and I have my volleyball resume, and so our relationship is a lot different than it was me growing up when he was one of my father's best friends and was my coach in some of my years. So it's definitely different, and I think he has a level of respect for me as a ex-player and just a, of my volleyball IQ, so I think we're going to work really well together. I guess you can call it a transition, but how I look at every little step is just a different step or a different adventure in my life. Um, this is something I know. It's very easy to me. Coaching is very easy to me. The volleyball world is very easy. It's something that I've done my whole life. So I'd say if we call it a transition, it's a very easy transition. Um, it's things that I don't really need to think about. I respond on my experiences, and hopefully those experiences are going to help the girls that are out there. Growing up, I saw Robin playing. She was a little older than me, and it was exciting to get to go to the Olympic team and her be my mentor there and us work together as a team for those two Olympics that we did play together in. I think it just shows something about the state of Hawaii, our passion for volleyball, how we train volleyball players, and just the fact right now there's three local guys on the men's team, and there's always been a representation of Hawaiians or people that have grown up in Hawaii on the Olympic team. So I think it just shows uh, our passion for the sport here in Hawaii. We have four and that's tough for just one coach to always be um, looking at all four and being able to give enough feedback. Four is a lot of setters. Faith is not, um, she's ineligible this year. So we still want to get her the rep. So it's really three of which of those three are going to be on the court. Um, the other two have a little experience, and our freshman is coming in with uh, great hands and, and the will and the want to be on the court. So it's been a week and a half, and they're working hard. They're putting in a lot of extra reps. I'm going in extra time with them, and they're really trying to prove themselves. And it's going to come down to probably the end of this week to the start of next week of who's going to make that first start. Um, but they got to fight. It's uh, exciting to have more than one setter that's capable of doing it.